Hey everyone, Ian here with Modern Automotive Performance. We've got a new product video for you today. Now this one is gonna be Evo 10 specific. So if you're an Evo 10 owner and you're into modifying your cars, you've probably heard of us already. Um, we've been producing and selling Mitsubishi parts since 2006 and have been producing performance engines for the Evo 10 specifically since 2009. One of the biggest questions we get here, either during the customer's engine build process or if they're just looking for their next bolt-on upgrade, is what are the best camshafts for my car? And that is a really good question, so we are gonna touch on that today. The cams we're talking about today are the GSC S2 cams, and that's what we have featured in our shop car behind us. So why can't you just slap cams on to your factory head and boom, go up to 8,500 RPMs? Well, you can't because a couple reasons. The factory valve springs are obviously a little bit softer. They're designed to work on the factory camshafts. So just putting a set of cams in your car without upgrading the springs could potentially be harmful to the longevity of some of the components. Now, vice versa, let's say someone wanted to rev to 8,500 RPM. Oh, so I'll just put some stiffer valve springs in and that, then I'll be able to achieve that. Well, that can be tricky as well. A, the factory camshafts are not designed for that particular RPM range. And also, with a stronger valve spring, that could put additional wear and tear on the factory cams, as they just simply aren't strong enough from the factory to withstand that kind of pressure. So it's always best to upgrade valve springs and retainers along with the camshafts. We have a set of the MAP valve springs and retainers in this car, which were specifically designed with the S2 cams in mind. So the GSC, S2 cams, these are made from a billet blank. Uh, the S2s are a 274 duration camshaft. Uh, these are good for uh, upwards of 8,500 RPM and are claimed by GSC to produce anywhere from 40 to 80 wheel horsepower gains. Now that's gonna depend obviously on the turbo size and other supporting mods. As I mentioned earlier, there is a pretty wide variety of aftermarket camshafts for the Evo 10. We are big fans of S2s personally just because they handle a wide variety of modifications. They, they handle a variety of power goals that a lot of our customers are going to have. But if you're interested in purchasing a set of GSC S2 cams, or you're looking for more information, we're gonna have links below to the product listings and some write-ups for these as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment as well, or tell us what your favorite cams and why for the Evo 10 are. You can leave that below as well. Again, my name is Ian with Modern Automotive Performance. Thanks for watching.